This video introduces how to configure VoIP on Wagia Cloud. Traditional hotel phone systems typically involve dedicated phone lines and equipment that require regular maintenance, leading to high costs. Expanding guest rooms or adding new features in traditional hotel phone systems can be challenging due to the need for extra phone lines and equipment. This makes the deployment complex and drives up the costs, which falls short in meeting the diverse communication requirements, scalability, and cost effectiveness for modern hotels. VoIP, or Voice Over Internet Protocol, uses compression algorithms to compress voice signals into IP packets for efficient transmission over the internet. This approach lowers communication expenses while enhancing user experience with features like call transfer, voicemail, and multimedia communication. The integration of a VoIP gateway with Wagia Cloud enables the establishment of VoIP systems in commercial and residential settings such as hotels and apartments facilitating the rapid deployment and acceptance of VoIP systems. Connect an analog phone to the telephone port of the APF access point in each hotel room. The APF access point will then register with the VoIP gateway located in the hotel equipment room over the network using the SIP protocol for internal calling. Next, connect the VoIP gateway to the traditional public switch telephone network PSTN, and the IP network for VoIP communication. Visit the official website of Ruegia Cloud. On the displayed web page, enter your username and password, and click Login. Before configuring VoIP, ensure that each APF access point in the hotel is assigned with a unique name. Otherwise, automatic registration of directory numbers may fail. You are advised to name each APF access point using the room number. For example, name the APF access point in room 1001 as 1001. Add a suffix if there are multiple APF access points in a room. For example, if there are two APF access points in room 1001, name them as 1001 underscore 1 and 1001 underscore 2, respectively. On the home page, click the project name. Then, click devices. Name each APF access point based on the naming rules. VoIP is not supported in some countries or regions. Before configuration, check whether the country or region code configured in radio frequency field is compatible with VoIP configuration. Perform the following network planning. Choose network-wide, network, and then client access. On the page that is displayed, you can configure a VoIP VLAN. Click Add VoIP VLAN under Add. Configure the service remarks, VLAN ID, and other information. Then, click Next. Select the devices and ports connected to the VoIP gateway, configure the VoIP gateway address. Click Next. If there are IP phones on the network, select the devices and ports connecting to the IP phones. If there is no IP phone on the network, directly click Next to skip this step. Click Apply to apply the configuration. After the configuration is completed, click Check Network to view the configuration results. Choose Network Wide, Network, and then VoIP. Click Configure Now. In the dialog box that appears, select the configured VoIP VLAN, and click Next. Configure directory number generation rules, select the APF access point for which directory numbers should be generated, and then click Generate Directory Number. If there are IP phones, click IP phones to configure the directory numbers, and then click Next. Enter the IP address and port number of the VoIP gateway.
By default, the IP address and port number of the VoIP gateway are populated by the system. Enter the username and authentication password of the APF access point. Next, click Deliver Configurations to deliver the configuration. Wait for about 5 minutes. Verify the APF access point registration status. If registered is displayed, the configuration is successful. After successful registration, if you are unable to make calls, click Batch Edit, select the affected extension, and then click Batch Advanced Settings to adjust the VoIP configuration based on your actual network requirements.